Hey YouTube, it's me Patty here at Jack's Farmland. Whew, I'm tired. I am outside planting onions from Dixondale Farms. These are Texas legend onions. I've already planted loads of them and I still have this many left to go. So if I survive this, it'll be great. But um, yeah, and here in Florida you can uh, plant onions in the winter around November-ish let them over winter and to spring and you should have onions around March or April nice big fat ones if you do them right and you got to know what you're doing to grow onions big fat and plump but anyway I'm gonna spin you around and let you look at the I planted in three different locations so I'm gonna spin you I planted over here in this row in the ducks old pen uh, there's probably about 15 of them there and then I put some over there. And there's probably, I only put about five or six there because I already have onions started over there from seed. So I gotta go find another location to plant the last of these. And I think I'm gonna plant them over by my cabbage. If cabbage likes onions, I don't know yet. I have to look it up, but I will see. So hope everybody's doing great out there on this uh, weekend before Thanksgiving. It's just me and the birds out here. Don and the dogs are in the house chilling. And I'm out here having a planting good time. I've planted cabbage. I've planted broccoli. I've planted calendula. I planted Swiss chard. And now I'm planting onions. And I did get some organic potatoes from a farm up in Maine. Uh, Wood Prairie Farm. I got some nice organic yellow potatoes and I could plant those too if I choose to but right now the potatoes I have to wait for them to grow some eyes they don't have any eyes on them and without the eyes I'm not gonna get anywhere with them so when, once the eyes grow I will stick those in the ground and keep them protected from the cold and then I can have potatoes look at these chickens Donnie butchered the pond that the ducks used to use put it out here thinking the dogs would go under it <laughs> during the day but I think it's more like the chickens like to go under it they're a mess these birds are something else they are growing and they are laying and I hope they don't slow down laying here in Florida in the summer I mean in the winter I hope they keep on producing because those eggs are so good and so healthy I know there's a new study that came out saying that eggs are bad for you well we've had that study before haven't we and it turned out they weren't bad for you in fact they're very good for you and there's Paco and Fresca frisky as ever she's laying her little tiny eggs so cute yeah, let me see if I can get through this gate without stepping on their little heads <laughs> we got little friends sorry for making y'all dizzy spinning everybody around there's Paco he has gotten so mean. He does his little chicken dance, his little rooster dance, and he tries to bite Don's feet. Silly boy. There he goes, he's gonna do his chicken dance. What are you doing, fella? Paco! Let's see if I can get him to do it. He's a funny little bird. Cute as he can be. And we kinda reinforced his coop, so. He should be fine as far as the weather goes. So I planted the other onions in here with the dying loofah vine. This whole row here is onions. And then there's cabbage, cauliflower, broccoli, carrots, and I think some, um, I already said that. Okay, it's carrots. And over here is the other row. There's a lot of onions. I don't know where I'm going to plant this last of these. I'm going to find me a spot somewhere. What are you doing, Paco? The yard is a mess right now. They're so busy. All the grass is dying. And we have found out with chickens, when you let them out every day to forage, they will kill your grass. So I put some hay down because it gets so muddy back here when it rains. So I put some hay down. To make it more tolerable and to keep penny and copper from getting so dirty when they come out here because they get filthy black so 
chickens will destroy your grass if you let them out every day. And the grass is already in dying mood because it's getting cooler anyway. It's supposed to be 30, I think 39 here Tuesday, right before Thanksgiving. And I gotta figure out where I'm gonna plant the last of these onions. I think I'm gonna plant them over here on the other side of the greenhouse. The greenhouse is doing good in there. <laughs> I can't really plant them in there because I think they pretty much like full sun. So I'm going to plant them, I think, over here by the neighbors in this bed. It's a mess, but this is where I think I'm going to put them. So I'm going to say goodbye for now, clean up this bed, and plant some more onions. And this is the bed where I discovered the free, big, fat, orange sweet potatoes growing last weekend I got a whole bucket full I was so surprised and what had happened is uh the sweet potatoes that I had growing inside the greenhouse grew up the wall and back out down the wall and into the ground over here I made tons of sweet potatoes it was such a nice surprise and we've already eaten a few of them I know you're supposed to let them cure for a couple weeks a couple days or weeks before you eat them to concentrate all the sugars in them but I couldn't wait they were just good and they didn't need any more sugar they were perfect but anyway I think this is where I'm gonna go so this is gonna be a short video because I gotta sign off and get back to work because it looks like it just might rain and that would be a blessing I wouldn't have to water all right you guys hopefully you'll have a great Thanksgiving and be grateful for everything you have and take care of yourselves and I'll talk to you on the next one bye